The 26 and 9 Hornets take on the 18 and 16 Memphis Grizzlies. And the Hornets are here in this one have a new addition, Kelly Oubre, acquired in a trade, brought over here to secure or sort of lock down that extra wing position as Miles Bridge is not working out necessarily for this Hornets team. Early on here, though, it was John Morant putting on a show, able to get to the rim with relative ease, making it look like a breeze. Here's Morant again, going to find Georgie Dang, who's going to pass back out to Jaron Jackson Jr. He's going to find Justice Winslow. That's a tough shot from Winslow. You just got to give it up to him on that one with Oubre on the defense. Here's Jaron Jackson Jr. Not a particularly great game from him as he clinked that one off, building a brick house with this with his performance in this one. Here's Kelly Oubre returning the favor to Justice Winslow with a very tough shot going up here. Had to reverse mid-air multiple times, able to get that one to fall in. Now a missed free throw leads to a nice fast break opportunity here for a three for Malik Monk. Draining that one, Monk, nice find from Graham, led him right to the corner. That's the easiest shot in the game right now. So here's Bialinsa with a dead on three right there. Just sort of looked at it a few times and decided to go with it. And here's John Morant again. He was able to get to the rim. Uh, that was a $5 move with a 20 cent finish or however that saying goes. I just butchered it. But what isn't butchered here is Stacy Carr making his debut from the G League. Possibly a diamond in the rough finding here as he's able to nail that three in the corner. So now Jaron Jackson Jr. just trying something, anything to get his game going. And that was not good. P.J. Washington with some good defense. Here's LaMelo Ball to the rim and one opportunity now for LaMelo. John Morant with the foul. So now LaMelo with the ball again. At this point, four points, one assist. He's going to find Kelly Oubre here coming off of the screen. He's just going to drop that three right in there. Nice play right there. So now here's another offensive set here from this Hornets team. This time they're going to go inside with Mark Gasol, and that was just too easy for him. Uh, just that might have been one of the easiest baskets he'll ever have in his career. you got to play tougher defense and a guy like Marc Gasol than that. So here's LaMelo Ball going to find Bogdanovich. Corner three. Usually that goes. Not that time. So now up the court. DeAnthony Melton going to find Grayson Allen. And he's going to miss that one. That would have given the Grizzlies the lead. So now LaMelo Ball with the ball. See how I did that? Easy. Just run right to the rim here. And that's what happens when you have guys on the corners that can shoot. You sort of really have to decide are you gonna leave your man and give up buckets and not give up buckets like that possibly are you gonna you know sort of crash wall them off a bit and sort of force them to beat you outside this Hornets team they can beat you from the outside now they definitely have shooters that can do that here's PJ Washington proving that exact point you know really this Grizzlies teams they made a point to sort of try to defend the rim and try to force the Hornets to beat them on the outside and they were able to do it here and there's Devonte Graham slamming that one down and in the second quarter here it was a close game for the first and most of the second but this Hornets team just started pulling away here ever so slightly D'Anthony Melton that is not his shot I don't know what he was thinking on that one Here's Bogdanovich bringing the ball up to court. He usually doesn't get opportunities like this. They just sort of leave the lane wide open for him. And he's able to just jog right in for the easy layup. So here's LaMelo Ball trying to alley-oop it to Mark Gasol. He's a little too old for that. Which leaves Gasol uh, matched up on John Morant. That's going to be an easy bucket for him. So here they try once again sort of walling off LaMelo Ball. A couple moves there. Able to get right to the rim and put that one in. So now John Morant going to find Jaron Jackson Jr. He can't hit. So now LaMelo Ball going to bring this ball up the court. Going to find Kelly Oubre Jr. Who's going to dribble back out. Now going to attack the rim uh, by Jang. Who's not able to sort of defend him. That's a mismatch for sure. Got caught flat footed right there. So now Devontae Graham, he had a very good game here. Here's Bielinsa again for three, just nailing that one. 
A nice smooth release on the jumper right there, making the Grizzlies pay. Now a 20 point game. Remember, this was a 7 point game not too long ago. And now the Hornets are just running away with this one. Just sort of able to do whatever they want. Here's Malik Monk, corner three, nailing that one again. So now Devontae Graham going to get the nice drive here on John Morant. And that one's good and one for Devontae Graham. And just a nice move to the rim for him. Graham able to make the free throw mate, and get the easy three-point play. So now here's Kelly Oubre Jr. Nice little action here. That's a tough shot for him, and he's able to make it anyway. Still the third quarter here. John Morant driving in here, trying to get something going. Trying to find some spark for this Grizzlies offense that has just gone cold here in this quarter. But P.J. Washington slamming that one down. That might have been sort of the exclamation point on this one as the Grizzlies just poor defense in transition. Can't get anything going on the offense. Giving up threes left and right here. There's Bogdanovich for another three. Doing the John Cena, you can't see me. And maybe they didn't see him. Maybe that's why he was so open. I don't know. But either way, the Memphis Grizzlies are going to fall here by 34 to the Charlotte Hornets in what was just a beat down here 108 to 74 rough game for them let me take a look here at the stats Devontae Graham finished with 18 points 5 rebounds and 13 assists on the night Bogdanovich 16 points 4 rebounds and an assist Kelly Oubre Jr. 12 points 2 rebounds and a block in his Hornets debut take a look over at the Grizzlies John Morant the only score in this game that had 20 points but didn't get a lot of help from anyone else in this one. Grayson Allen led the, uh, also led the way off the bench with 16 points, 2 rebounds, and 4 assists. A lot of that came in garbage time, and Jaron Jackson, 7 points, 3 rebounds, and assists on the game. Grizzlies fall to 18-17 and 17 on the season as the Hornets improve to 27-9. and 9. Real surprise uh, for them out of the East this year. So that game was great. I like the addition of Kelly Oubre already. Already, I think he gives us another um, guard, or not another guard, but another wing player that I felt this team lacked. Um, so Stacy Carr, you saw him in that game. A couple highlights from him. Looks really good. I mean, sort of crazy how good he is. I'm um, just one of a G League, one of the G League free agents. I don't. This isn't a real player, so. He's only 20, which means still a lot of potential for him. So we're going to get rid of Grant Ryler. He's already 24. Doubt he's going to progress that much. We're going to re release him in the free agency. and That'll open up the roster spot for Stacey Carr. Um, his, uh, his morale or whatever it is says he's lit right now. So I guess that's good. I don't know. Are you sure? Yes. His, uh, his relations. It's jubilant now, but one of the guys that said lit, I think that's new. I don't remember seeing that last gen. So Stacy Carr, small forward, six foot eight. Uh, looks like a really good player for us. So uh, we're also going to bring back Devontae Graham as well as morale is lit. Um, we're going to bring him back $13 million a year. Uh, so I think that's a good signing for a backup point guard, in my opinion. I think that's about the going rate. Uh, the rest of these guys, we're going to try to re-sign all these guys for sure. I think definitely going to try to bring back Ubre and Bogdanovich um, if we can. I know the cap situation, uh, I think we should be able to bring these guys back. And then in the draft, we're going to have to find someone to replace Mark Gasol. I have a few ideas on that, but I'll fill you guys in on that a little bit later. Um, so a trade I'm looking at here is Miles Bridges for Royce O'Neal. And I think Royce O'Neal would fit in with us very well coming off the bench. Uh, plays good defense, can shoot the three. I think the sort of guy that you would want coming off your bench. And we would get a first round pick in exchange for him as well. So I think that would make a lot of sense for us moving forward. Once again, there's definitely interest there. Um, I thought about Robert Covington. I might try to make a run at Covington, see if I can, you know, kick the tread on a trade for him. I think I would love to have a player like that again. Possibly coming off the bench, maybe in some situations starting for us. And I think that would really help defensively, but I don't really know if anything's going to help defensively. But the way it looks at, like, it seems like the meta in this game is just drive bys again. Um, it seems like not much can happen defensively. It doesn't matter who you have out there. So when we come back, we're taking on another pretty good team in the Eastern Conference, and that is the Orlando Magic. 
and uh, gonna try to deal with them in this in the next episode. So uh, if you like this video, hit like, hit subscribe, and I will see you guys next time for more Hornets, my NBA league GM, or whatever this mode's called. I think it's just my NBA now. I don't know. Peace.